First off, we'd love to congratulate Mr. Ganesh Radhakrishnan for being selected as an MSUS partner for SAP Azure globally. He's made his mark in the world of entrepreneurship as CEO and founder of Wharfdale Technologies. He is also an advisor for Gold Bank and an investor as well as a mentor. He worked his way to becoming one of the top 100 most influential people for Upside Magazine. Furthermore, Mr. Radhakrishnan was awarded Entrepreneurship of the Year. So let's welcome Mr. Ganesh Radhakrishnan to share how the future could be changed with 3D and more. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for being so patient, for listening since this morning. Thanks a lot. Let me make a change for next frontiers. As I could see, a lot of people keep talking about technology since this morning. So I just wanted to touch the roots of our Indian tradition. That is something which I wanted to bring back to everyone's mind, which had been forgotten in the last 350 years. I would also like to cover 21 great things which are happening between now and 2030. And as a VC myself, what matters for most of the entrepreneurs when they are looking for funding or where they literally fail, as I have failed multiple times before I made my successes. So, first of all, people have to understand one thing. Our ancient Indians are scientists with high spiritual power. More than 10,000 years ago, they said the world is round. Please understand, more than 10,000 years ago, they said our world is round before we had all the satellites or huge telescopes. Also, one of the important things they said is the world is moving. It is not stationary. And they also could able to figure out that at a distance where they could see a bright star, which they said, it is Mars. And everybody here as engineers would have known about Big Bear Constellation Theory, that they could be able to find two stars where normally when people get married in India, they go out and show that twin star. What is the great thing about it? Basically, any stars moves from have a stationary and the other one moves. But this twin star move across each other. The reason for that is it's not that husband moving around the wife. It is both husband and wife to move around. That is what we used to say that. And if you really look at it, all these things have been figured out when there is not even a telescope available for people at that time. So if we quickly look at these two examples, this can tell us why by default in our gene that we have entrepreneurship. People over here or the budding entrepreneurs wanted to understand very clearly we have a gene already running which is entrepreneurial. If you look at it, this is a rust-proof pillar, which is Kutub Minar in Delhi, as well as a, a stationary pole, which was erected in, near Mugambiga. You can understand, 10,000 years ago, they had a rust-proof pillars. But even today, we do not have that. If you really look at it, how they would have invented these kind of inventions. And if you really look at it, the one which is near Mugambiga, this is erected by tribal people. 
this is erected, and six to eight months it rains in that area. This is very astonishing. And the most important part, which I wanted to share, what Indians had been holding for 4,000 years, it is basically a zinc. They really had the secret of extraction of a zinc, which is like another equivalent of magnesium. To extract that, you need to melt zinc at 997 degree it melts and you have only three degree where it can evaporate. People didn't even understood how these people would have done it. They took a reverse method where upside down they put the heat on the top and at 997 degree when the zinc started melting they put an ice bar underneath and they were holding it. Look at how innovative they were. And the most important part is Chinese stole it from Indians and from Chinese the Britishers stole it and the first distillery in 1543 William Champion set it up. Why I have to talk about this? Because we are talking about entrepreneurship here since morning. The amount of history we have it's absolutely phenomenal. If you truly look at it, 10,000 years ago, these things were all done, thousands of years ago. Our ancient scientists were not limited by any physical instruments where they were not at all limited because they had been doing meditation and with spiritual power, they could get across all these things. So they can go to any places to see that with their own eye. And now you can understand how this twin star or the rust proof iron had been invented and that is something I wanted to touch base. Now, a lot of technologies has happened between 2001 to 2017, which you are seeing it, but what is the new thing which is happening in the world? Now, those who are in the IT field for more than 12 or 15 years, they cannot become proud, including myself. We consider ourselves as outdated. Whatever the technologies or the inventions which are happening between 1900 to 2015, it is happening between 2016 to 2022. Complete development of 115 years is happening in the last coming six years. So these are the new areas. If people are not transforming themselves, they are going to be outdated. So the budding entrepreneurs have a lot of opportunities for them to explore these newer technologies where traditional people cannot succeed and they cannot say that they have 20 plus years of experience. So these are the five major things which are happening at this point in time. Predictive analysis, we are talking blockchain, the big data, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Now, I don't want to go deeper into this, but rather, I just wanted to say, what is happening in the world? Data. There is a, a company, or there is an organization called GAFA, which is fighting for this data. What is GAFA? A lot of people may uh, hear this as a first time. It's nothing but Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. They are fighting over your data. CTL and the other speakers who spoke before me had been clearly saying how the digital world is going to shape. And these organizations are hungry for your data. And what I would love to leave here is, what are 21 great things which are happening? And how, as a company, we as Warfordale, which are cloud pioneers, are transforming ourselves for future. So there is a lot many happening at this point in time. So on a quick run, 90% of the population will have unlimited data storage by 2018. The first robotic pharmacist will be arriving by 2021, and one trillion sensors will be connected to by internet by 2022. So you can also see 10% of the world population will be wearing clothes that are connected by internet by 2022. What is saying this? 
It is saying to the budding entrepreneurs that there is a lot of opportunities for them to develop new technologies or new applications which can get connected. Now we are talking about the first 3D printed car will be in production by 2022. And one of it I wanted to say, as a company, we are transforming ourselves by 2023-24. We are going to do 3D printing of human parts, which are internal parts, like we are talking about pancreas or a vascular tube, or even by then, you can say a liver can be printed by 2024 and a kidneys can also be produced. This is basically out of your own blood cells. We take the blood cells and formulate an ink which will print layers of 3D and then we incubate it. Once the incubation starts, the cell started growing and it gets interconnected and start communicating. And once it is a full blown, it can be transplanted. Now you do not have to worry about it because it is your own part. It is from your own blood cells. It was done, it's no longer a foreign body. But a lot of things are happening between now to 2030. As, as I am talking about big data technologies, or 10% of reading glasses, which is going to be connected. That means you touch your glass, you look at an object, it can tell you, it can give you information, or it can tell you what is it about. So we are also talking about blockchain. By 2023, the government will start collecting uh, using the blockchain. And uh, we are talking about more internet access is going to become a basic right. What today some of the parents say, don't use internet. That is no longer going to be true because it's going to be a basic right. Uh, as I said, the first transplant of a 3D printed liver will happen in 2024. And you could see that more and more technologies are coming towards, which is going to be, and one of the things already people talked before me is driverless car will account for 10%. But it is happening by 2026. The first AI machine will join a corporate board of directors by 2026. And by 2027, 10% of uh, global gross domestic products will be stored by blockchain. So, as I said, data is going to be the new crude of 21st century. And a lot of entrepreneurs here are looking for a lot many ways. What is the most important thing? I just wanted to tell you my story in a quick nutshell. A lot many times an entrepreneur thinks idea is the business, which is completely wrong. I took a big idea, I went in, and I miserably failed. Then I thought, you know what, I don't have a great team. I don't have Johnny Ive type of people, which Apple have to do a great design. So I brought in great people in the industry. I still failed. I did <laughs> I failed. So people said, the next big thing is business model. We hired great MBAs from great business schools. They came, they developed our business model, including revenues. We still failed. <laughs> then we said, oh, oh my God, you know something? We never raised funding. That may be the reason. If we go with Google Ventures or Sequoia, those kind of big guys, they will help us. We didn't raise funding. We didn't raise much, but we did. But still we failed. The one thing people have to understand is timing. It's not just what ideas you have or what type of team you have. A lot many people think it is all about funding. Whenever an entrepreneur says, I don't have money, if I have money, I will accomplish it, which is not true, which I just wanted to give you a quick example. These are companies, you could see that these five factors, Airbnb, Instagram, Uber, YouTube, LinkedIn. If you talk about YouTube, there is a company called a company called Z-Wave, they started in 99, they had a $3.6 billion of money raise, they miserably failed by 2003 because they had a big issue with Codex. They couldn't solve it, they couldn't stream it. And the internet traffic on broadband was less than 50% in United States. In 2004, Adobe solved this problem with a Codex. YouTube came in just like a breeze. And if you talk about all these company at BNB, when people thought that they will not rent their house, 2008, when a financial crisis happened, people looked for extra dollars, they went for it, and it was a big thing. But other big companies who failed, like Webban or Cosmo or Pets.com, you can go and look at it, look at all these factors. The funding is the most less 
ob obvious thing which you can see in these maps. And these are the five factors I'm talking about. Timing is everything. For an entrepreneurship, if you want to succeed with whatever idea, timing is 42%, team execution is 32%, we are talking the real idea is 28%, you are talking business model is 24%, and your funding is 14%. If you really look at it, you have to be at the right time at the right place. So for entrepreneurs, this is the message which I wanted to state because I was given only 15 minutes, and uh, this is the only thing I call it, execution matters a lot, but timing matters even more. So with that, I'm leaving this uh, thing. Thanks a, thanks a lot for giving me this opportunity to speak in this event. And if you have any questions, we are putting some innovative videos, which they will be playing for future of technologies on the glass. So thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Vetna would like to welcome Mr. Vijay Rajendran, CEO and founder of Mobile Lucians, to present Mr. Ganesh Radhakrishnan with a memento. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, your wisdom, and also your sponsorship for the Tamil uh, uh, Entrepreneurs Forum. Uh, we really appreciate what you have done to the community as well as for the technology space, sharing your vision here of your company as well as your uh, knowledge here uh, for us, okay? We look forward to you doing more sponsorships for us in the future, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.